Uh, now that we have defined random vectors and their joint distributions along with joint moments, um, we will discuss uh, in more detail the joint Gaussian distributions. And we will start with the case n equals two, uh, which is the bivariate distribution. And we, we will also start with the standard version. So this is bivariate standard Gaussian distribution. Two random variables x and y are said to be jointly standard Gaussian. Okay, each of these terms is important. Jointly standard and Gaussian. Well, Gaussian, we know what it means. Standard, of course, we know also what it means. It means zero mean and variance of one and jointly. Well, we'll talk about that now. Or we also we can say bivariate. They have a bivariate standard Gaussian distribution if the joint PDF is given with this expression. Here, rho is a number between minus one and one, and we will see that it will turn out to be uh, the correlation coefficient, but the general uh, form of the bivariate standard Gaussian distribution is given uh, here. Now, in fact, if you compute the marginals from this joint distribution, you see, let's do that for X because you see it's entirely symmetrical Therefore, the result will be exactly the same for y. So uh, to, to compute the marginal distribution of x, you just integrate this with respect to y over the entire real line. Now here, I have taken out the terms that do not depend on y, and I have just taken out one of the square root two pi's. So I have this here, and I have here e to the power minus y square minus two rho xy divided by two times one, one minus rho square, and this term, what I do here is I want to make this a perfect square so that I, it, the integral resembles a Gaussian PDF. Okay, so what I do is I add inside this parentheses, I add uh, rho square x square, and then I also uh, take it back with this term because I have, I have a negative sign here. This will be a negative and this positive will eliminate it. Okay, so now when you have this, well, combine these two, and you get this, okay? And then the inside is e to the power minus y minus rho x squared divided by two times one minus rho squared. And you see on the outside, this expression here, that is e to the power minus x squared, one minus rho squared divided by two times one minus rho squared. So one minus rho squared terms cancel out and I get e to the power minus x squared over two over square root two pi. And this integral, as you see, is the um, Gaussian integral where the mean is rho times x, right? And the variance is one minus rho square. Okay, this is the Gaussian PDF with these parameters with respect to y. Therefore, this integral is one. So this is what you get as the marginal PDF as expected. You see, this is the standard uh, Gaussian. Okay, so X is standard Gaussian and so is Y. Therefore, uh, from this uh, joint distribution, you get uh, these two marginals. So this is the reason we call this the bivariate standard Gaussian distribution. Now let's look at the non-standard case. Okay, if, if the mean doesn't have to be zero and the variance doesn't have to be one, uh, this is the joint Gaussian distribution, the, the joint uh, or the bivariate Gaussian distribution uh, is given by this. Again, rho here is uh, between minus one and one and x, y are real numbers. And if you compute the marginal PDF, um, it's quite similar to do with, similar to what we have done, but it's a little bit more tedious to make it perfect squares, etc. You have a lot of uh, product terms coming in. Let's not do it here, but uh, the result turns out to be this as expected. And this is a Gaussian distribution. Uh, you see the mean he appears here, mu x, and the variance appears here or the standard deviation appears here. So the variance is given by this and similarly with y, okay? So this is the general form. And in fact, if you plug in mu x or, or mu y equals to zero, sigma x, sigma y equal to one, 
you would get the previous formulation, but this is the more general case. Now, um, we'll look at the conditional PDF of X given Y, okay? Let's say they have X and Y have uh, a joint bivariate uh, Gaussian distribution, okay? In this case, if you are given the value of Y, you can write um, using this definition, uh, you can write the conditional PDF of X uh, given the value of Y. Turns out to be this, you just uh, di divide um, the, the joint distribution by the marginal Gaussian PDF. And this, this is the result. And if you look closely, this is also a Gaussian distribution. You, you see, uh, you, um, you have this X, X minus something square here. You have minus one over two, and this is the variance. And you see its square root also appears here. So this is also a Gaussian distribution. This is the mean of the conditional distribution. And this is the variance of the conditional distribution. And from this, you can write the conditional covariance, okay? The covariance between X given Y and Y. So this is given by uh, this uh, e expression. And here, when you know the value of Y, okay? This here just uh, is as a placeholder. It's not a random variable, but it represents the outcome of the random variable. So y minus mu y is just a number. Okay, I can take it out of this expectation here. Okay, so this is what we get. And this is the shifted expectation. If you shift uh, x by its mean, okay, uh, conditioned on y, you get the uh, expected value of uh, x given y, but shifted by mu sub x. Okay, so this thing, just subtract this value, okay? Um, that is what you get here. So that is y minus mu sub y and sigma x uh, divided by sigma y times rho times y minus mu y. And that is multiplied by this, okay? And then you get y minus mu y squared sigma x over sigma y times rho. And then based on the, the law of total expectation, if you take the expectation of this conditional expectation, okay, you get rid of the condition and what remains is just the covariance, okay, through this uh, relationship. And then th that is the expectation of this expression here. These are just, um, scalars i can take out uh, of I, I, I can take them out of the expectation and what remains is you see the variance of y so that is sigma y square okay so you you uh, eliminate one of these with this one what you get is sigma x times sigma y times rho so this is the covariance if you divide the covariance by sigma x sigma y you get the correlation coefficient which turns out to be rho